Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. My name is Jess Larkin and I am the Marketing and Communications Specialist at Cornerstone. I'm your host for the Build Your Brand series and your go-to gal for all your marketing questions. And I want to help you build a brand that's focused on growth. Today we're talking about onboarding kits and most importantly, how to make them. But before we get into that, we'll start with just a little bit of housekeeping. My information is right there on the screen if you'd like to get in contact with me. Also, be sure to give us a follow on social media. We post industry and cornerstone updates and information on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or YouTube. Let's get started talking about onboarding kits. It's no secret that first impressions are vitally important, especially in sales. We've talked about this with branding time and time again. When you finally rein in that prospect you've been working with for some time, you want to do everything in your power to keep them. That starts with an organized and intentional welcome. Your client has big expectations for your service and your support. They're likely in a lofty stage where they're concerned about whether or not they made the right decision. A comprehensive client onboarding process will help ease your client's concerns and welcome them to your agency. So building that strong foundation of trust is gonna help you bring the most value possible as the relationship progresses. So, what does onboarding entail? Well, let's consider the onboarding that we've been through before. So let's think like freshman orientation in high school or a new hire onboarding in a new job or even apps like Netflix have some sort of process to help you integrate into some type of service or role. Imagine throwing an accountant into an organization with no onboarding or training. Talk about overwhelming. They won't know the systems, they won't know who they're working with, and they likely won't stay very long at that company. Well, the client experience in health insurance isn't too different. Health insurance is complicated as it is, and many consumers look to an agent to do the heavy lifting for them. It's easy to set it and forget it with clients because the most important interactions really only take place on an annual basis. That's great, but here's the secret. Today's consumer is more empowered than ever, and their expectations are very, very high. They can find the service that they expect at the click of a button. They want to know what they're signing up for. They want to understand because there may be a better, more affordable option out there. So that's where you come in. You are, after all, their health insurance expert. Many clients don't understand health insurance at all, and they rely on you to guide them toward the right decision. So you have to put yourself in the shoes of the client who knows nothing about health insurance. They've contacted you to help them find a plan that works for their budget and their needs. You send them a couple quotes with some of the same old caveats. They choose the option that they think will be right for them. You sign them up. They have health insurance. Boom. Great. But what about after the sale? A well-defined onboarding process should answer the client's questions before they are even asked. Provide them with simple educational resource materials that help them better understand their health insurance. Give them a list of every possible person that they could talk to in regards to settling a claim. Provide a timeline of what managing their health insurance plan will look like on an annual basis. Is there something going on in the news that may affect their plan? Put that information in the onboarding packet as well. So let's go back to the freshman orientation in high school. You're 13 years old and you're starting at a new school where the kids seem bigger than you and you're in a building that is three times the size of your middle school. You don't know anyone here and you're a little nervous that you're going to walk into the wrong classroom at some point. Well, that's why they have orientation. They provide maps. They do icebreakers so you get to know your classmates. They introduce you to some students that have been in your seat. They provide you with information on how to contact the nurse and the guidance counselor. They walk you through setting up your email. Every tiny detail is covered to make a student feel more at ease when they start at a new school. Why are your clients any different? With the world of health insurance being so large, ever-changing, and confusing, your clients want a roadmap of what your service is going to look like. They want to know what their insurance means, why they need it, and how they can take advantage of it. Your job as their agent is to give them exactly that information. So to put it all together in a concise package, I recommend creating a welcome kit. Your welcome kit can be in, in a nicely branded folder, or it can just be a downloadable PDF that you send to your clients via email. Welcome kits are well-branded, comprehensive, and above all, helpful. 
You don't want to include any extraneous information that they don't need. Um, and you don't want too little information that they just throw the welcome packet in the trash when they get home. So here are my best recommendations for creating a welcome kit. My first recommendation is consistent branding. Presentation is vitally important. Much like you'll wear your best suit to meet a new client, you want your marketing to do the same. Your welcome package should have the same fonts, colors, and branding as your logo and the rest of your marketing resource materials. So like your website, your social media, print marketing, et cetera. That brand consistency means more than you might think for a client. It makes your brand recognizable and helps you establish trust with your clients. My second tip is that everything should fit into one folder or one packet. Like I said, health insurance is complicated enough. You don't wanna hand over a 20 page packet to your client and say, here you go, figure it out. The key is to lead the horse to water with a simple document that helps keep them organized and engaged. While welcome kits in the past have been largely print, the last couple of years have really pushed for more digital communication. So creating a thorough PDF that you can email to your clients is not only gonna be cheaper for you, but it's more likely to stay with the client. You don't want your welcome kit to be lost in the paper shuffle. And finally, it needs to be high quality. So in this case, a Microsoft Word template is not really the way to go. They're pretty outdated. Um, so if you're going to opt for printing the packet, it shouldn't just be on the standard paper that you print from your office. As I said, your clients are living in 2022 and their expectations are really high. Just like you would with a resume, put your best foot forward with your welcome kits. So what do we actually include in the welcome kits? Well, here are a couple of options. First is a welcome message from you thanking them. So a hearty welcome. They're, start, they're the reason that your business is chugging along and they deserve a thank you. So introduce yourself, give a little information about your background and chat about your personal life a bit. Clients wanna know that you are a person and you're not just your sales strategies. Personalize your sales process and let them in, especially if you're a family owned business, that makes a huge difference. Next is a table of contents. You don't want your clients to get lost in the weeds of information that you provide, especially considering that they've likely received plenty of info from their carrier as well. Give them a nice overview of what's in the packet so that they can skip ahead and look for exactly what they need. Next would be an about your business or meet the team. So this could be your vision, your mission, your history, how they find you on social media, helpful links. This is where you include everything and anything about your business and your team. Put faces and contact information to the name. If you have a support team that they might be talking to in the future, include their headshot and their contact information. Again, this personalizes the process. For the contact information, add every detail of how they can get in contact with you for the best response. Are you more likely to answer email? Let them know. Do you expect them to be able to call your cell phone even on the weekends? You should let them know. Do they have a carrier contact that they should know about? Let them know. Next would be a service timeline. So what comes next? Provide an annual overview of their reviews, their check-ins, premium payments, claim resolution, et cetera. What can your client expect once you've hung up the phone? Next is a checklist. So what you need from your client, especially if you're working in the employee benefits space, it can be really helpful to provide a step-by-step -step checklist of what is needed from them to get started. Do their employees need to fill out any forms? Does your contact need to get registered on the carrier website? How do they do that? Include all the information that they need in a concise checklist. Next would be important dates. This would be a great time to mention qualifying life events. So open enrollment dates, uh, things that they might need to know about when they can change their insurance. Many clients may not know that they have options to purchase coverage outside of open enrollment. Next, any other service, services that you offer. So do you offer help with more than just health insurance? Do you offer accounting or tax help? You should let them know. Resources and access to tools. If the carrier they chose has a portal, this is a great place to provide information on how to set up their username and password or how to access their benefits. 
This would also be a great place to offer a Medicare 101 guide or information about the Affordable Care Act or product options for small employers. If you partner with a financial advisor, lawyer, or PNC agent, this is also where you might give some brief information about their services and who they can call to get started. Next would be an FAQ. What questions do you typically receive from your clients and how do you typically answer those questions? And then a survey. Feedback is vitally important and what better time to ask the sales process, ask about the sales process than right after you've made a sale when the interaction is still really fresh in their minds. To actually create your welcome kit, I would recommend starting with Canva, which I've talked about in many previous webinars. Canva provides great templates that you can start from if you don't have an eye for design, and many designers have created client onboarding templates that you can choose from and just add your own information to. When the kit is done, you then just download it as a PDF and send it to print. So let's walk through how you can build your own welcome kit using Canva. Um, so first, let's exit out of this presentation, and then we are going to go to canva.com. So right at the top here, canva.com. And if you do not already have an account, you're going to click sign up, and then you will go through the steps to create your account. It is totally free. There's a pro option, but it's not necessary to get uh, really good um, options from Canva. So once you have your, an account, your account, you're just going to log in. So let me do that real quick. All right, once you've logged into Canva, we're going to go to the top right-hand side of the screen and click Create a Design. Now, there's a couple of different templates that you can use to put together your onboarding kit. You can use a presentation template, a video, etc. But let's keep it simple and use a standard paper-sized template, which is just going to be eight and a half by 11 inches. So I'm just gonna use this custom size option change it to image it, or to inches, and then type in the standard paper size, which is eight and a half by 11. And then you click create new design. So from there, Canva will provide you with a blank piece of paper that you can add text, images, and other design elements to. There's plenty of template options on here that you can ma manipulate to create your own kit. So if you go over here to templates and you type in onboarding, there's going to be plenty of different templates that you can use to create your own onboarding kit. And they're pretty well designed as well. So let's just try this one to start with. And if you click on any of these elements, you can change the colors, you can change the images by going to your elements and searching for what you're looking for. You can update the, te update the text. It's all extremely simple. But if this sounds too complicated and time consuming, good news, I've created a template that you can use and modify on your own. I'm going to include a link to the template in the description of this video. Once you've received that link, all you do is go to a new tab in your browser and paste it into the address bar and it'll bring you uh, to this page here. Again, you need to have a Canva account in order to use this template. So you would just click on use template and it pops right up for you. And it works the exact same way as the other uh, elements do on Canva, where you can change the colors, you can change the images and the text, um, but I've included quite a few different pages here. So the first is just a, a cover page, table of contents, um, um, sort of meet the team, about you section, a service timeline that you can insert some dates and information with, checklists, and so on. And a lot of these pieces are really easy. So in order to uh, insert your logo, all you would do is delete this, go to Uploads, and then let's just use the Cornerstone logo. Oops. I'll use the new one. And then just like in Microsoft Word, you would move it down, resize it, however you want it to look. So it's super easy. 
So this link will be available in the description and it's also going to be available in the brand new marketing hub, which is available to brokers who have access to the Cornerstone Resource Center. Um, so there is more information coming on that very soon, uh, but keep an eye out. Welcome kits are just one of the many arrows in your quiver that you can help your client to, that you can use to help your client feel more at ease and trusting of your services. But it really all comes down to consistent, consistent branding. Thank you all for joining today. If you have any questions about this webinar or any other webinar in the Build Your Brand series, please feel free to reach out to me at jlarkin at crnstone.com. And everyone have a great day.